this out. You've got your very flat, slightly flat, and really deep uh, sail. In medium wind, um, if your airflow is in that direction, so maybe the true wind is in is is somewhere. Whew, we won't use that. Yeah, people don't use orange so much. Um, you get the, uh, the separation. So wind only wants to bend a certain amount. It's willing to bend more when there's more wind uh, and less when there's less wind. Um, so if we say this is the right amount for the conditions, um, then this one just starts to detach at the end of the sail. So if you bend it any more, you lose a lot of flow. Uh, and then this one maybe stays uh, flowing properly all the way along, but because it doesn't bend the wind as much, you get the least forward power from it. So this one you get just a small amount of power because you're only using this much of the sail and you get some drag. This one you get maybe a tiny bit of drag, but it's worth it because you get a lot of power. This one you get very little drag, just form drag, drag from the shape of the sail and the friction of the air on the sail, but you get less forward. So this is sort of your medium wind situation, too deep, uh, just right, and, uh, and too flat. But as the wind dies, even, what used to be just right, the wind won't follow it anymore. You start getting this backwards drag. Uh, so your very flat sail becomes the right thing to do. And people tend to set up their sails like this, um, but in the very light wind, you just have no flow at all at the back of the sail. Um, so yeah, flat, flat sail, uh, in the very light stuff, and then also flat sail in the very heavy stuff. Uh, that I think we were used to knowing, um, but just to emphasize it, if it's very heavy wind, um, you may bend the wind more with your medium sail. Um, you may even be able to convince the wind to bend all the way around a heavier sorry, all the way around a deep sail, but this just is so much power um, that you can't handle it. So in this case, the boat's heeling over like crazy. You're pulling the rudder towards you. The boat's really stopping itself. So you don't want that. In this one, you think you can handle it, but actually the front of the sail is inverted a little bit. You know, it's like almost luffing. That the, the windward telltale isn't working. Um, the leeward telltale is, is flying, your little strings on the sail. Um, so actually you're not using the front of the sail. The, the flow uh, is sort of starting uh, to be bent because the whole boat's turned more into the wind uh, when you're luffing like this. So you're actually only using that much of the sail. So in very heavy wind, and this part is drag. This is not helping you sail. So in very heavy wind, you also want to flatten the sail, not because you can't bend the wind, but because bending the wind makes you uh, either way overpowered from that deep sail, or makes you waste part of the sail, uh, or if you can flatten it enough, then it works again. So in very light wind and very heavy wind, you want this flat sail. Uh, and then in the medium one, you want your 
la gom <laughs> uh, sea. Um, I think that's that's probably good. We could stop one section there. Uh, 